Yeah, guys, uh, as you can tell, this spire is really, really raging. Uh, we could see it about 25, 30 miles away. It kind of looked like it resembled when you see the sunset and it comes over the horizon. That's what it looked like to us from 30 miles away. So this thing is huge. And I can tell you right now, we're, we're hovering about three quarters of a mile away from this fire. And the heat is incredible up here in the cockpit. We have one of our doors off to get some air in here. And you can just really feel that heat coming in here. So I can't imagine being any closer how hot that is. Now, if I pan the camera over just a little bit, I'm going to show you down here on the ground. you got massive emergency vehicles right here. It's, they're about a half mile away from the fire, staging right there. And then over a little bit over here, if I can pan just a little bit more, you can see over here they have uh, care flight on the ground. We heard, uh, uh, this is unofficial, but we did hear there might be possible injuries. Care flight was saying that they weren't able to get close enough to be able to see if there was any injuries or get close enough to check. They did have another care flight on their way into the scene. I haven't seen him yet. I think he's landing right now, actually, as we speak. As you can see, the staging area right here. They are landing another care flight as we speak. Right there. there he is, right on your uh, screen. You can see him coming in there for a landing. So they definitely are staging. We are hearing his possible injuries, but again, they cannot get close enough to, to actually confirm that or not from what we're hearing up here. I'm gonna go ahead and pan back over to the fire. Again, we're sitting about three quarters of a mile away from this big fire, and man, it's really, really hot up here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and send it back to you guys. I mean, Mike Warner is uh, able to talk and I guess hear me in Sky 4 now. Mike, go ahead and pick it up. What do you think we're looking at there and where does that relate to what you've been watching this whole time? Well, I, I agree that definitely looks like a, a transmission line of some sort. Um, the, the black smoke that you were talking about earlier when I was showing the black smoke, we kind of lost our signal a little bit, but let me go back over there. And I apologize for the camera movements here, but I have to kind of adjust the IRS quite a bit because of the brightness of that fire. But as I go back over here, you see that black smoke. Over there, that looks to me like the platform area. There are at least Four, two, two or three tractors that are on fire, or tractors or front loaders, back hose, that type of thing, that are on fire. That's what's causing that black smoke over there. Um, since you guys have been on, since we have been on the air, uh, have you been talking? We've seen three helicopters, uh, at least two helicopters leave We've heard they're transporting to a local area hospital. Um, haven't heard anything about conditions of victims or anything like that. We saw another care flight helicopter come in and land. In fact, I can give you this shot right over here. I believe a care flight's coming in right now, landing um, over there. It's about a mile away where they're staging or having this staging area. So he's coming in. Um, haven't heard about the number of victims. Haven't heard about anything about missing people, at least from up here in the air. So you, as you can see, that care flight's coming in. Another thing that's going on that we haven't really talked about too much is it's causing a little bit of a brush fire. Um, I'll go ahead and go down here on all sides of this fire. Uh, there has been quite a bit of a little brush fire raging and we've seen a couple of trucks try to drive through and try to put this brush fire out. There is some uh, two, three foot tall brush in the area. Nothing major. There doesn't look to be like, as I look out the window, there doesn't look to be like any structures that are in danger uh, right off hand, but it is causing, causing a couple hundred acre brush fire here as this fire rages on, Steve. Yeah, it looks like, Mike, uh, it looked like there was an issue. Right when you got there, it looked like this must have been a big fireball because there was this initial big, huge scorch area and then the, then the gas fire in the middle of it. So it tends to convince me that that initial ball of flame was very large. Yeah, and I'd have to agree with that. And even even um, as we've been sitting here, we've been on the other side of this fire now over here, we've seen huge uh, fireballs um, come out of there, you know, almost like uh, in little waves. It, it'll kind of die down just a hair, and then all of a sudden you'll see this huge blast of fire. And I think I was saying earlier, we're about three quarters of a mile away, so we're zooming in quite a bit. And you can feel that heat up here, and it's not, you know, we've been over a lot of fires before, but this is something else. This is like intensely hot, hot flamage. So I can imagine some of that heat is causing some of that scorched area also. Mike. What are, you, what are we looking at here? Is this some distance away? This is going to be uh, like I was uh, I was showed you previously. It's uh, about three, two or three hundred yards away from the actual fire scene. So that we think is the main platform for where they were uh, possibly drilling. Of course, this is all speculation. We think that might have been one of the main platforms uh, for this operation. Uh, as you could see, there was um, several uh, front loaders, backhoes, that kind of thing on fire. You can see the scorched pickup truck, um, some bucket vehicles uh, doing some kind of power work. I've noticed a lot of power lines in the area, or, or like uh, poles that they were putting up. I can show you an example of that. It's just on the other side of this fire here. 
you can see uh, you can see that there's some uh, Airport, thank you. older older or with the replacing older power poles right here with some of these new ones. I don't know if that has anything to do with the work that was going on here. It's just what's in the area. I'm just trying to show you what's in the area. Um, and again, the fire is absolutely raging. Uh, probably what they're en gonna end up doing is letting the gas burn out. Um, at this time though, haven't heard anything else about transports or victims other than what you've already said. Um, and again, I'm gonna go take you back over to the right just to show you what's going on. This is the uh, command center or, or the staging area for the emergency operation. You can see a care flight is sitting there on the ground. He's not spooled up. In other words, he's not running his, uh, he's not running his engine. So they're either waiting to see if there's any more transports needed or, or whatever they're doing down there. There they is a care flight on the ground. But again, we've seen um, uh, two care flight helicopters and an evac helicopter. We were told that they're possibly going to Parkland Hospital back there in Dallas. And uh, for right now, that's all the information I have up here.